Oh. To make it certain due to the mother's long absence, I'm keeping hold of his house key. Please find me if you need it. Joseph. His gardener. I have a bad feeling about his gardener. Probably being dead. I wish I could just use a lockpick on the guy's door. I hear it rocking. There it is. No! Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. Time to craft some ammo. Whew. I didn't get no key. This gardener on some bullshit. Talking about he has the key. He ain't got no key. All we got is disappointment. I know the well well ain't obviously gonna work. Is that really it for this whole little area? This game got more jump scares out of me than Medium did, that's for sure. And I'm clearly missing something here. Alright. Oh, it's a pig. I can deal with a pig. Let me end you. Ow. <laughs> Quality meat, probably for knifing it the majority of the way. God, I am going to be running out of space. Bunch of pipe bombs. Oh boy. Oh, the, that's the front end of the castle gate that's closed. Gotcha. I hear something running around. How about we go up here and use this winged key? I'm gonna need more ammo. A six wing being. And I have only a two wing being. How specific. Alright, treasure. Sell wooden goat. This needs something. This needs something. Sell crystal wing. Sell the skull. Oh, I could sell my old gun. At least I'll get a decent bit of money back for it. Supplies. Customizable far for the shotgun. Greatly increase the rate of fire. Didn't you have like a suitcase thing earlier? Or do I have to go to like specific merchants to get specific items? What's up everybody? It's Demo. Welcome back to Resident Evil 8. I've not played this in about four days. So I've been dodging spoilers from the people that have beat it. And I'm just kind of like, okay, time to get on my grind and, you know, play this nonstop all day today. I got back from vacation last night. I didn't get home till about nine. So last I recall, the dude was like, oh yeah, there's a, uh... A home with a red roof or something 
to be able to, you know, get a, find a guy to get a cure or something or other. So that, I, I'm assuming this is the old lady's house. That's my guess. And I think I went searching for it one of the last times. Oh, I gotta sort my inventory. Yeah, I think last time I filmed I went looking for it and I didn't really find anything, so... Let me sort my inventory and go look around for this and we'll see what happens. Off from the other side. I forgot to totally sell that meat or whatever to the merchant guy. So I guess I'm going to have to go up and do that. That is the wrong way. Good for right now. Time to figure out where the hell everything is. Okay, well that's blocked off entirely. So we're definitely have to gonna go around. And now the house is clear. This house is clear. Oh. That's neat. Random, but neat. <sighs> God damn, Ethan, you gotta be cold. And searched all I can down here. There's a room in what's her name's house that I still haven't searched, apparently, but I'm also sitting here like. Didn't that place burn down? Oh! Shit, that scared me. Yeah, you can't even get in there. <laughs> Trying to remember how to do the knife exploit. Well, the only thing with that is it's just a way around. It ain't a way in. See, I don't think we're getting back in there to search that. The church still has stuff in it. And this... Place down the road still has stuff in it. You can hop in the windows, but he won't hop over a fence. Rusted scrap, shotgun parts. I was about to say, where's the way into this place? <sighs> okay, run back to the church. Let's clear that out. Church is clear. Okay, randomly found a goat on my back traveling. Uh, can I lower this? Nope, well, well, it doesn't fit there. And I got nothing else. So, well, wheel was a fluke. No, I only got three types of keys, game. I don't know what you want. Kind of sucks that they won't let me go back into here.
killing me here, game. Where the hell do I go? Ask the man that lives in the house with the red chimney. Oh, the red chimney's right there. And I got no way in. There's got to be a way around to shoot that lock. I think I might know a way. Climbing up here and doing it. Oh, wow, that was easy. I did all that for what? Ran around for God knows how long. <laughs> and I was so close up there earlier, too. It is now unlocked. I just had a weird feeling about this one. The large crystal. He's really dead. Oh, that sucks. At least he left notes behind. I think key is just a single piece. Three more parts needed to make it whole. Combined with the winged key. Oh, okay. Yes. Better see the Duke again. Let's see. Sacrificed two goats to Mother Miranda. Offered wool to Mother Miranda. She insisted I find her a list of drugs and tools for in the next few days. I wonder what for. No message for Mother Miranda. Yet the livestock won't stop their ruckus. I was instructed to take the items to the cave, or to the cave church at sunrise, but what I saw was frightful. Great four wing it, or the great four wards were there, and Mother Miranda was holding a child. She whispered something and touched the child. Can't explain what, but the child turned into a white crystal. And then she. I couldn't help but to speak up when I asked her would she, why she would do such things. She smiled at me and said, this, this is the chosen child. She will return to her original form no matter what befalls her. Then she gave each ward a part of the crystal in a flask and they left. I forgot I forgot to bow to Mother Miranda before I fled. I'm still shaking. What did she do? What is that child? Oh boy. A whole bunch of nothing. Well, I hope this isn't like this weird writing style where he's all calm. He's like, I better see the Duke again. And when we get there, he goes, what the hell? And just flips out for like n out of character reasons. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First, you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Lords? Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresk. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the dollmaker, Donna Beneviento. None of her playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. The third is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. 
So he's the fish in the story? The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. Oh, dear God. If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Some treasures still lurk in this village. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. Why are you doing all this? Why, it's all part of our first-class customer service. Please do come again soon.